Hey guys, Jeffrey here. Today, we're gonna do back. Uh, we're gonna work out our back muscles, and we're gonna do some uh, deadlifts, and we're gonna try to do some uh, work on our traps here, do some shrugs. So, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is lat pull downs, a little supersetting. All right, first thing, we're gonna do lat pull downs. Like I said, we're gonna superset these with uh, far, you know, a wide grip, and then we're gonna do a close grip in a curl motion, reverse grip. So here we go. And you just pull it down to your chest, like that. Try to use your lats to pull down. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you're done, you immediately reverse your grip, get close in the middle, about uh, uh, body width apart, and pull down. Same place. You're using, not only using these muscles now, you're using the muscles back in the, further back near your scapula. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And as soon as you get done with that, you move directly into the uh, uh, seated lat poles. So, almost like rows here. So you, you sit down, use the same weight as you did here. Make sure you obviously have it over here as well. And you grab your weight, which is, uh, you grab your bar, which is this little bar here. And straighten yourself up. Come back, use your back. Don't do a lot of swing, and a lot of people like to swing. Um, but pull back. One, two, three, four, five, six. When you pull in the weight, pull the weight to your chest. One, two, the whole time you're squeezing your little uh, scapula together. So you're trying to roll your back in. So use only your back. Focus only on your back. And so we'll do six, six, four, four of all those. So for me, that's one set. And they'll come around and I'll finish the rest. And I'll show you the next set of exercises. All right. Once you got all sweaty with the lat pull downs and the lat rows, now we're going to move to different kind of rows. And what we used to call these is uh, uh, chainsaws or uh, lawnmowers. So it's like you're starting a lawnmower or starting a chainsaw. Uh, so what you want to do is get your weight, stick your butt out. We're going to do the same, six, six, four, four. And what you're going to do is put your arm to the side here of the bench, sit butt out and straighten your back. Pull up to your, your, your chest. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And so we'll switch arms. Do the other side over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And once you're done, I keep saying you, but I'm referring to me. So once we're done, we, uh, we is me, must have a mouse in my pocket, right? You come down immediately, after you've done both sides, and we're gonna do these, these flies designed to uh, exercise your back. So you're gonna squeeze your back, the middle of your back together. So always keep your face forward, by the way, never turn your head, you know, I'm turning my head and talking to you guys, but um, always keep your face forward at all times or down or never try to um, never try to turn your neck because you'll 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 strain your neck and you'll hurt for days. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And so what you're doing with those obviously is you're coming up and you're bringing the muscles in the middle of your back to come together 
you know? And so at the same time, you're around your spinal column, you're, you're trying to get those muscles and wrap, wrap, wrap each time. So I'm gonna do these rows, and I'm gonna do these flies, and we'll see what's next for the back routine. All right, so once you're done with the chainsaws, <laughs> that's what we used to call them when I was uh, forced quarantine for a while. Um, Long mowers, chainsaws, the rows, and the back flies. What I like to do is move to uh, it's an, like an upright row. It's a lot of it's a lot of your shoulders, but you can use a lot of your traps uh, and kind of the top of your back. People use them in a shoulder workout. So you grab it and kind of touch your nose down, touch your nose down, and then what I'm going to do is superset that with bent over rows. So you're going to bend over, put your back straight. You know, stick your butt out and then pull it to your chest. One, two. So, we'll go ahead and uh, get this exercise. So I like to use my, like I said, I like to use my wraps. That way I won't focus on my grip as opposed to the exercise I'm doing. Some people like to do this close grip. Um, if, I like it wide grip. I used to do close grip all the time, but it seems as if the wide grip, you get a better pull on what you're trying to do. If you put your feet always body length apart. Uh, not body length, body width. I don't have that. I can't do this splits. Uh, so you grab it and you pull it up. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So what you're doing is you're, instead of focusing on using your shoulders, you focus on using your traps and the top of your back. You can actually change the muscle that you're working just by thinking about it. It's really cool. And for the next exercise, I like to superset with. So what I'll do is I'll bend over, straighten my back, put my butt out, uh, feet with body width apart, and pull to your chest. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And squeeze your back the whole time. Fantastic set of exercises. So what I'll do is I'll do six, six, four, four of all those. And then we move into the last set of uh, back exercises. And then we'll do some fun, harder exercises. So I'm going to finish these and I'll see you in just a minute. All right, once you've done your upright rows and your bent over rows, I like to do another superset. As you can tell, I like to do supersets. So what we do now is what I call good mornings. Um, it's for your lower back. It's a lower back exercise. You can't forget the lower back. What it's really called, I don't know. I don't care about the names. You'll see me messing up the names and stuff. I don't care about the names. What I care about is the exercise that we're doing and make sure we, as in me, doing the correct exercise. Um, we have, I have a lot of slang names for all these exercises. But what you're gonna do is get underneath like this, like as if you're gonna squat. And it's hard to keep the weight, you know, functional between it. So, you know, when you go down, it's okay to be off a little bit and turn. It's not a try not to, but you don't know really if you're angled like this, if you're angled like that. Um, but try to focus on being straight, but think about your lower back doing all the work. So you go down and down. Three, four, five, and six. Each time in your head, say good morning as you come up. So, good morning. So immediately when you're done, put the weight up, back up, put it up, and you're gonna come around, which is what I do, is I like to do my flies. So I'll come down and Get over here and immediately squeeze in and one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so again, focus on what you want to be done. Squeeze your back. Try to get that little 
your, the muscle around your spine, the same thing, the roll. And uh, pull your back exercises like that. And do six, six, four, four. And enjoy. We're gonna wrap it up with this, but I like to throw in something special. Like I said earlier, I like to get my shrugs and my deadlifts. There's almost a whole different exercise in their, their own right. Um, but I like to get those out of the way during my back routine. So without further ado, I'm gonna finish. All right, so once we're done with the, the flies, back flies, and the, the good mornings, good morning. Uh, we're gonna go into deadlifts. I'm done with the back exercise. So the back exercise is done. We'll go into deadlifts, and what we'll do is I like to just strap, as usual, I don't like to think about my grip. We can do other grip exercises. I can do other grip exercises. Um, but what I do is get my, my hands about body width apart, pick up the weight, come up here, basically drag it down, keeping your back straight and your butt out. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's very important not to turn your head in those exercises, uh, the deadlifts, because you you already got a lot of weight on you, so turning your head, you'll crane and you'll, you'll pull your neck muscles. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish my deadlifts, and then we're gonna move to shrugs. Okay, now they're all done with deadlifts. We're gonna move to shrugs, and what we're gonna do is, I like to use the strap still. So roll these around, same place that you did the shrugs, and you basically use the same weight that you can do with shrugs, or with, with deadlifts. And uh, I like to, um, I like to do sets of 10 for these. Uh, my, mine actually go really, grow really fast and big, so I don't want to look too, um, I don't know, meathead-like. So I'm gonna 10, 10, 10, and I'll show you each grip. So first grip is front grip. So I go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. So each time you do a shrug, you pull up and then you push down. Pull up, push down, think about the weight you're doing. Don't bend your elbows all crazy and use them. A lot of people, a lot of people do this. You don't want to do that. Let it, bend, let it hang, pull up. And then once you're done with those, release your grip, get a reverse grip. So like you're gonna curl a bar. So you get your uh, straps, wind them up like so. Same distance apart. And then you do 10 again. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same thing, pull up, push down. I like to stand on my, always, always uh, tighten your core up, but I like to stand on my tiptoes when I'm doing it, because that holds my calves together. You know, you can get a little extra workout. And I'm not even thinking about it though. And for the last set of shrugs, I'll do these, by the way, this is, a, this is one set for me. So I'll do four sets of these, going up in weight. Uh, I'll end up with, uh, I don't know, 365 pounds. But I like to get back here, sit down on it, put your straps in the exact same position as with the deadlifts and the other shrugs. So you do it behind your back. Sometimes your butt gets in the way. If you got a little bubble butt, that's me, believe it or not, underneath these sweatpants. So, stand up. So this, your arms are gonna dangle below your butt. If you come up to your butt, 
uh, as your butt starts to curve. <laughs> butt, 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 butt. So one, two, three. Remember always to look forward, never turn your neck, same thing with deadlifts. And once you've done your four sets of these, you're gonna be tired, you're gonna be done, and you wanna go head either to the showers or go back and do some more work or something else, you know, mow your yard or something. That's my back workout and my trap workout. So after I'm finished, I'm gonna drink my protein shake and have at it. So thanks for watching. And tune in later for shoulders. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want to do. We'll have fun. Uh, if you don't like something I do, let me know. This is my workout, and I'm trying to teach you what I do for my workout. This is why I look the way that I do, nothing else. You know, I may add in different exercises and, and change it up a little bit, but this is what I do. So enjoy. Thanks for watching.